Uh, uh, I'll note that I love the geothermal discussion. Um, uh, Senator Heinrich and I have a, a bill together uh, on geothermal. We've got access to heat like that. Might as well harness it just as we would with Puff the Magic Dragon. If we could find and harness him, then we'd make power out of him somehow. Senator Hickenlooper, and then we'll go to Senator Hoven. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, and again, glad to back. I, I don't think I have to extend an invitation to come to Colorado. <laughs> uh, uh, I accept. And I do appreciate, uh, and there was some, I understand how quickly things were working and how hard you worked to get your uh, financial information, your ethical disclosures, the FBI background check that we didn't get it until I didn't, never saw us. I had a, a dinner last night, uh, and then I had meetings starting this morning. Um, but I do look at geothermal, which I share your enthusiasm, and I, and I want to ask a question about how rapidly you think it can scale. But it is, is something so pro promising. Uh, obviously, you've thought through your conflict of interest in something like that, where you've you've helped. You know, dramatically, uh, uh, you've been part of the catalyst to allow the geothermal to, we, that we can imagine at scale. At least I can. I'm imagining at scale. Uh, you, you've thought you thought through that. I don't have any of the numbers in front of me yet. Yeah, th thank you for that, that question, Senator. But my involvement with a particular company, I think a leader in next generation geothermal Fervo Energy, I will sever all ties, right. financial Great. involvement with Fervo in everything I do in energy. I'm still passionate about it. I'm going to be a champion for it. But, and, and even in my world in the small modular reactor, our company, and I'm a director of one of those small modular reactor companies, but I'm cheering for all of them. And yes, I will sever all of my ties from across the whole energy space. But, it, but I won't sever my passion for seeing those technologies uh, advance to better American lives. I appreciate that. And I appreciate that you're open to discussing it with other senators if they have, if they did, once they've seen that, those documents that they have questions, that I appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah, given the compressed time frame, if anyone has any questions about anything in my disclosure form, as you know, sometimes to your detriment, uh, I'm an open <laughs> book, and, and so are you. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, in, in terms of geothermal, and, and I, you know the, the, the details better than I, how rapid can we get that to scale? Because it, it, the, 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 the transformational capability of that, as you've described before, it, it can do some of the making of things. It ha can be high temperature that actually does uh, display, displace uh, hydrocarbons in a successful way. So Fervo right now is building a 400 megawatt plant in Senator Lee's state. Um, and. Uh, and one of the reasons they can do it in that scale is there already is nearby electrical infrastructure. But Senator, we'll circle back to everyone's top issue today. One of the limiters in the growth of geothermal is there's so many resources out there, but there aren't easy ways to connect to power lines right. to sell that power to users. There are a number. So we're going to see gigawatts come on in the next few years. But could it be tens of gigawatts with infrastructure? It could. Right. Well, we're aligned on that. And we have, I have a couple of bills that we've worked on, uh, the Big Wires Act. You'll, you'll, you'll get immersed in all that uh, uh, soon enough. Let me talk a little bit about nuclear waste, because yes. we haven't really talked about that. But I, uh, you know, I was someone, when I was a kid, protested against nuclear energy, uh, couldn't get my arms around how we deal with the waste. Uh, I think looking now at some of the risks of climate change and the, the, the potential, the possibility that acceleration of climate change is worse than they think, um, makes those, the, the nuclear the issues around the waste, we still have to deal with it and deal with it safely. Have you got any ideas of how to do that and, and, and help, uh, especially some of the younger people in this country are very concerned about that, uh, about nuclear as a, as a solution, but it is, it's clean, it's, it has high temperature capability, it can do so many things if we can figure out how to deal with the waste. Yeah, and I think that the concern of, of kids and us when we were young and everyone else of nuclear and, and of climate change, they're all very justified concerns. These are real things. Radioactive materials are dangerous. Um, but fortunately, I think with engineering and sensible regulation and safeguards, um, I think the nuclear waste problem is one of the most manageable problems because the volume of waste is relatively small. Like we've been selling commercial nuclear power for over 70 years. And all of that waste today is in swimming pools on location, cooling off at the start, and then it's in big dry casks right on location in urban or suburban areas. So, and it's been there for 70 years. 
and the radioactivity near those power plants is lower than Grand Central Station in New York City, the subway station. So I think even without permanent repository, we've been able to do that in a safe way. It's better in the long run to have a more remote, probably deep storage, but there's many ways to do it. I think the politics of it are the trickiest part, but they matter. We, you need to have people on board. We don't want people with fear and anxiety about what's going on. So it's a political and social challenge, but technically can we deal with nuclear waste safely? I, I believe firmly we can, and we have. Well, thank you. And I'm out of time, but I do I think that discussion, we're going to figure out how to have that national discussion to make sure people are aware of how engineering and how uh, technology and innovation can help us make sure that is truly safe. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. I hope we're not actually seeing them in swimming pools where people are swimming. I just, <laughs> <laughs> Senator Hoven. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Chris, I'm also